Hello and what's up YouTube? In this video, I will show you how we do the ultrasonic slip upset area inspection of drill pipes. I will show you the actual UT inspection in the field and examples of defects in drill pipes we can identify using UT. There are a lot of YouTube videos out there showing how to calibrate and use the USM35, but not many showing the actual inspection job and practical use. So first you see me do the time-based calibration of the USM35 on the V1 block. I am using the auto calibration in this case and we want those echoes to line up at 100 and 200 millimeter respectively. And there you go. I then proceed to fill the standardization of this reference standard. This is made out of an actual 5 inch OD drill pipe tube. The same as what we will inspect on the job. You can still see the internal plastic coating there. It has within plus minus 10% of the nominal thickness of the 9.5 pounds per foot drill pipe. And most importantly, it has these transverse notches. One in the OD. And one in the ID. The notches meeting the following requirements as per DS1 procedure. We then need to standardize the signal response of those reference notches as per the following procedure. And I made a simple drawing here to illustrate what we are trying to do. The signal response from the ID reference notch shall be standardized using the first one half skip or one and a half skip position. The signal response from the OD reference notch shall be standardized using the first full skip position. So we have two choices for the ID notch, either one half skip or one and a half skip position. But for the OD notch, it will only be the one skip position. <laughs> the ID notch is somewhere here. Now let us try to see that signal in the A-scan screen. On the trig menu, I enable the feature to set the display color so that the color of the signal change every one half skip position. You can see the signal is at one half skip and that is definitely the ID notch. I will use one half skip position for the ID notch. Next, let us look at the signal of the OD notch. And there you go. You can see that it is at one skip position. Take note that the OD notch gives us the lower signal response compared to the ID notch. And with that, we need to adjust the gain so that it is a minimum of 60% of full screen height. 
and that 69.5 BB will be our reference gain setting from now on. Next step is to set the position and level of the gate threshold, which is 6 dB less than the reference gain setting. So 69.5 minus 6 is 63.5 dB. After turning down the gain to 63.5 dB, I then adjust the B gate threshold level so that it hit the signal and trigger the alarm. We then do that for the ID notch as well. Again, at 6 dB less than the reference gain setting or 63.5 dB, I adjust the A gate threshold level so that it hit the signal and trigger the alarm. Once we are happy with those two reference in standard notches, we will then have a distance amplitude correction curve or DAC curve established between those two points. My instrument does not have DAC function in the display, so I just imagine the line that connects those two points. And adjust the width and position of the gate so that the indications completely encompasses within the gates. Remember that we will use the reference gain setting of 69.5 dB during inspection. And now we are ready to go out and do the ultrasonic shear wave inspection of drill pipes. The DS1 procedure calls for scanning a distance of 48 inches of the drill pipe tube starting from the box tool joint taper and 36 inches for pin tool joint taper. We do the scanning towards the end of the pipe and onto the tool joint taper until coupling is lost due to the taper. With single probe hand scanning like what I am doing here, we need to do a minimum of 110% coverage of the circumference. We will usually have another person hold, holding and rolling the pipe to help us do that. Now I will show you a rejectable indication that we found doing this ultrasonic inspection. This pipe is already marked because an indication was detected during EMI and later borescope inspection. This will be a good example to show you. First, I will show you what the screen normally looks like while scanning the surface of the pipe without indication. As you can see, there are some signal responses but not high enough to hit the gate threshold and trigger the alarm. Now let us scan over the marked area of the pipe. They said it has internal defects and wall thickness loss. Let's see if the UT will show us a rejectable indication.
And there you go. The signal hit the A gate. It's near the one half skip position, so it must be an imperfection near the ID. Actually, this pipe was already been rejected during EMI scan and again during UT scan. And borescope confirmed the location and presence of the internal defect. Here I am showing you another real life example of when UT scan identified a defective pipe. This time the indication is particularly high right there. And if you notice, it is near the end of the one skip position, so it must be near or at the OD of the pipe. In that case, we can use MPI to verify, and there you go, ladies and gentlemen, a small crack on the drill pipe tube near the tool joint. It can potentially cause the client expensive downtime in the rig if this pipe twists off during drilling. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, a very brief demonstration of ultrasonic shear wave inspection of drill pipes. Please leave a comment if, if you find this video useful. Please share with your friends, hit the like button, and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much and God bless you all.